Hi, this is Josh, the owner of Shama Sandals. A couple months back, we changed our slogan from high performance sandals to elite minimalist footwear. And we did this because we think it better reflects our mission and the kind of products we're trying to make. We were just taking a look out there at the different kinds of sandals on the market and our own products. And you know, one of the things that struck us was that you could have a really thick sandal with aggressive tread and and you know strong uh, lacing system and all that but it would be a thick big sandal and it could be considered high performance and the sandals that we're trying to make and the kinds of things we want to put on our feet are minimalist and we're really focused on that so we wanted to make you know the best elite minimalist footwear with that in mind we've been working really hard on bringing thin sandals, like our thin sandals, into the future, making them as updated, as high performance, as adjustable as possible. And we don't want to just leave our roots behind. We want to embrace those and um, bring those up to the forefront. So we've been working really hard since last fall to bring you our best sandals yet. And I want to show you uh, what we've come up with and I'm really excited to do that. So here it is, the new Shama Sandal. So what I'm holding here is um, our new charger and we've had chargers for uh, uh you know since the beginning actually this was like the first sandal we had the first um it used to be called the jerusalem cruiser and this was our first soling material that um, that we used in any case um, when i was saying minimalist uh, it's not just a minimalist sole but the laces themselves need to be minimalist as well uh, i i they don't i don't want the laces to be bigger than they need to be. They need to be big enough, adjustable, strong enough, all that stuff, but not overdone. What I want to do now is just walk you through all the changes uh, that we've made to these sandals. So the first one that you're going to notice, and I think this is like the biggest thing that kind of, I really wanted to get the laces um, out of the dirt, so to speak. Uh, so they were no longer wrapping around the side of the sandal. And that's kind of a hallmark of a lot of the, the Warache sandals, minimalist sandals that have been out there for a lot of years. This is the solution we came up with. We've had these toe plugs for a lot of years now. We hand mold these things, believe it or not. And so I thought, well, let's take that design from the toe plug and um, kind of adapt it over to the ankle slot that we've had for a lot of years where the, the laces pass through. So we made a variation on it. And then, so then we had this little plug, sort of like this one right here. And then we uh, went from a, uh, a strap, like a long piece, a thick piece of webbing that had to be durable to hold up and, and, and be able to deal with a lot of um, abrasion and use to, um, to now we have this basically stamped piece. It's a layered sewn stamped piece here. So we call this piece the outsole post. Uh, that's kind of the first big, big change. Um, and that kind of spawned a bunch of other changes. So the cool thing about the outsole post is we've had this insole post for years. Now we have like a matching insole and outsole post. And what that means is that the heel strap always stays in place. This thing is nice and sturdy. It's always uh, set in this um, you know, elevated position and you're not going to have any issues with the heel strap slipping down. Um, it's always going to stay in place for you. Another thing we did is we have wrapped both the insole post and the outsole post in ultra suede. We've been using ultra suede on the ends of the heel strap and the insole strap for years, a couple years now, and it's great, it's wonderful, really soft synthetic material, uh, very comfortable on your feet. But now it's, it's all the way in the insole post and the outsole post on the inside. So your feet are gonna be really comfortable. And that's gonna mean more miles where um, 
you know you can run longer hike farther uh, whatever you need to do you're gonna be more comfortable in it so one of the problems that that presented was once we had this outsole post that's great we had an insole post what that meant after that is now we needed to make the what this section from here to here adjustable and there needs to be a lot of adjustment you can't um, you know have a couple of a couple of different uh, choices it needs to be an infinite number of choices so what we came up with was this new buckle let me show you this new buckle this is our new elite lacing system and our new buckle and here is our um, current generation um, ultra lacing system with our with the buckle we've been using for a number of years now and if you'll notice that this buckle is probably an eighth of an inch wider than this buckle which is really you know uh, this is a great improvement because what that means is that's just an extra eighth of an inch for you to move the buckle around on the top of your foot without having some sort of irritation um, or where it's sitting on the top of the of the big the bone that runs behind the big toe so that's a big improvement the other thing is you'll notice so this is the webbing we were using which was 11 16 inch we slimmed down a little bit here and we went to a 5 8 inch webbing that's actually a lot thinner um, and what that allowed us to do with this new buckle is the webbing can go through the buckle out to the outsole post back again and out and this is a it locks the webbing in place, but it still allows all the same adjustment we had with this buckle, which is really cool. That means you can put the buckle wherever you want it and it's gonna stay put, and there's there's no limitations to where you can put it on the strap. Finally, this is actually a really big point too. This was our old connector. This is a three quarter inch by three quarter inch um, piece of, it's called binding tape, and it's just a, a piece of webbing, a really flat piece of webbing. And it, it serves pretty well, but it's pretty big. The new connector we're using is Ultra Suede, and it's tiny, it's 5 8 by 5 8 It's barely wider than this um, piece of 5 8 webbing. That means there's more room for you to move the strap around on your foot, and more room in between the toes, less irritation, much better. So what this means for the new lacing system is, it's gonna be more durable. There's no longer straps going through the outside of the sole, making contact with the ground. Um, you're gonna have a heel strap that stays up better. There's gonna be ultra suede on the inside uh, lining your foot. That's gonna be great, more comfortable. There's three zones for adjustment. There's the heel strap, the insole strap, and now the toe strap. So there's all the adjustment you could possibly want. We haven't changed the profile of the sandal. So if you look at our old sandal and our new sandal, it's the same width as the old strap was. So there's no change there. It's still a very minimalist sandal. It's just been brought into the future. It still works with the power straps. If you currently have power straps or you want to get power straps for running, it works with the power straps just the same as before. So that's great. Um, and then finally, we did one more thing that I think was really important. We had new dies made, and the big addition we did here is we added material to the big toe. Just a little bit, kind of changes the look of the sandal, but it gives your big toe a little bit more room. It's gonna mean that when you're stepping, your, your toe is gonna feel, and your foot is gonna feel more confident with each step that you're gonna hit on the sole. So, I really do hope you like them. We've been working really hard on them. We've really tried to improve everything about the sandals while maintaining our minimalist approach. And I think we've done it. I think you're really gonna like them. So, the cool thing is these sandals are available now for purchase on our website. I think you gotta hurry, get to the website and order these because they're gonna be going fast. Um, I think there's gonna be a long line for them. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us, contact at shamasandals.com. And um, yeah, so for Shama Sandals, this is Josh and uh, we'll be seeing you out on the trails. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, Hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel for more weekly content. And make sure to click the bell so that you'll be notified every time we post something new.